Based in southeast China, Yupa is one of the biggest factories on the planet. Today and every day, its 17,000 workers are getting the world ready for breakfast. In the next 24 hours, it will produce over 1,200 coffee makers for Americans to eat at breakfast time. Over the next 30 days, these assembly lines will produce 210,000 cappuccino machines and nine severed fingers. In the span of one year, nearly two and a half million coffee makers will pour out of Yupa with an impressive failure rate of just 40%. And at the center of all this is Yong Li. Oh, I really like Yong Li's friend's nerves. Because they're very big. I decided when he was running, his nerves would be running around and around. It appears we have forgotten to hire a translator for Mr. Yong Li. Li's mandate is ridiculous and oppressive. Any and all problems that could hurt production must be euthanized immediately. Sorry, I didn't know you guys wanted me to speak English. I just assumed you guys would dub over me in post with a voice actor. To be fair, I am the only one in the factory who doesn't normally speak English. Today, the schematics for the rocket-propelled dildo have arrived, and Lee has a new problem. Retrofit the existing coffee maker parts and molds into sex toys capable of hitting Mach 2. Hundreds of potential jobs, and billions of Chinese won, in other words, hundreds of dollars, are now on the line and in Lee's hands. Adapting production lines is a huge portion of my job. Last year, we had blueprints come in for a batch of submarines. Entire submarines. I don't know how I did it, but somehow all those old steam irons made one hell of an underwater vehicle. Lee starts on the prototype with the main assembly. He doesn't start with the additional assembly because that wouldn't make any sense. If any of you watching at home assume that Lee would start with the additional assembly, you're a fucking moron. Lee has to get more parts from the supplier. It's a short walk, since Yupa has condensed 90% of China's industry into one warehouse. But along the way, someone special is waiting for him. The person helping him today is his cousin. These circumstances make Yupa one of the most awkward places of employment on the planet. With a workforce of 17,000, many of the original Yupa workers married each other and had children who would grow up to work in the factory. Eventually, it became too complicated to keep incest out of the bloodlines, so the workers just stopped caring about that sort of taboo. Yeah, I might be related to Yang, or I might not. We don't tend to really keep track of that sort of thing. Love is love, and besides, everyone knows cousins can't get each other pregnant anyway. They're incompatible. Li Yang works in Yupa's supply department. She first came to Yupa in the seventh wave of inclusive Yupa worker breeding. We fell in love at first sight. She smells a lot like my mother. To me, that's a good thing. Yupa management encourages these relationships. Well, it's more like they don't care. This is a factory in China. No one on earth cares about these workers' rights. We eat together, we bathe together. We even share the same piece of mint-flavored dental floss. The world is our burrito. Now that Lee has post-nut clarity, he's able to get some goddamn work done. I'm thankfully now able to build this thing without constantly picturing my girlfriend's boobs and button stuff. I mean, seriously, have you ever seen some big fat titties? They're the most wonderfully distracting thing on the planet. Big titty girlfriend or not, Yang's design needs to be successful or jobs are on the line. I can either make the prototype as functionally cheap as I can, or I can outsource it even further to parts of Africa. Have you seen how much investing we've been doing over there? It's free real estate, baby. Weeks later, Lee has been fired. It turns out that creating a successful prototype may secure your job position, but it doesn't give you free reign to dump your testicles in the break room coffee pot. Well, you win some, you lose some, you know what I mean? I just wish I waited until the coffee was lukewarm. When the knobs are all polished, workers spring into action. Even though Lee no longer works at the factory, his prototype is still put on the assembly line. 700 units a day are produced, and Lee won't receive a single dollar for them. The factory won't even bother covering the medical bills for his scrotum reattachment. 
Now that Lee is jobless, he has more time to hang out with his girlfriend and her luscious cans. I'm thinking of getting her breast enhancement surgery for Christmas. I'm a big fan of gifts for both of us, and I'd eventually like to die smothered in them when I'm 95 years old. The couple plan to get married at a mass wedding paid for by the company. Dozens of Yuba workers will get married all at once, while thousands of co-workers watch. Holy shit, that's crazy. If we get married here, I'll stave off depression from being literally married to my job by remembering that lots of pathetic Americans get married at places like Disney World or the National Corvette Museum. A mass wedding is an ingenious way for Yupa to strengthen their indoctrination policies. And in, in the next part, we'll look at the food at Yupa, because I don't know how to end this. G goodbye.